He is a demented artist who paints his masterpieces in blood. Let's find out who is Muse. Where the man known as Muse came from or anything about his past is unknown. Muse announced his presence by sending an anonymous invitation to the vigilante Blindspot. Blindspot went to the address on the invitation, which was an empty warehouse. Inside the warehouse, he came across a mural which Muse had put there. Blindspot called his mentor Daredevil, who came to the site. Using his heightened senses, he was able to discern that the mural had been painted using the blood of approximately 113 different people. Muse later snuck back into the warehouse and defaced the painting. Writing, you are only as good as your last performance, and left the address where his newest work could be found. Authorities went to the address where they found six Inhumans that had been killed and staged as if they were completing task. Matt Murdock arrived at the scene and could sense Muse was in the area. He dipped out and made the change to Daredevil. Muse was on a rooftop nearby admiring his newest work being found when Daredevil located him. Muse asked Daredevil if he enjoyed his work. He then used a grenade to evade Daredevil. Muse later resurfaced and kidnapped a judge. He took the judge down into the sewer system where he already had two police officers and a councilwoman he had abducted in preparation for his next work of art. All four of his hostages had been involved in the process that shut down access to his blood mural. Blindspot had followed him into the sewers. He got Muse's attention and led him away from the hostages. He activated his invisibility suit and doubled back to free the hostages and pointed them to safety. He then stayed back to keep Muse distracted. When Muse found Blindspot, he went to activate his suit again and the batteries died, leading to Muse capturing Blindspot. He took Blindspot to his studio of horrors to figure out what he was going to do with him. Daredevil was able to track him there, and when he showed up, Muse gouged out Blindspot's eyes and threw him at Daredevil. He then used the bodies hanging in his house of horrors to distract Daredevil as he escaped. Muse made his way to the roof where he found inhuman security waiting for him. He surrendered and was arrested. When Daredevil made it to the roof, Muse broke all of his own fingers telling Daredevil he knew that's what he wanted to do so he couldn't create any more art. The Inhumans took Muse away to prison. Muse's power level still remains a mystery, but he has shown he possesses a level of superhuman strength and speed. Daredevil has also stated that Muse can draw scents and sounds into himself, becoming a black hole for sensory information, making it hard for even Daredevil to get a lock on him. Later, when Wilson Fisk became mayor and began an anti-vigilante campaign, Muse witnessed Daredevil's struggles and found a new inspiration. He broke out of his imprisonment and began his next project. He graffitied Manhattan buildings with huge supportive murals of several vigilantes. Blindspot, who had regained his vision through mystical means, ruined one of the murals to draw out Muse. Muse showed up so quick and quietly he took Blindspot by surprise. As Muse decided what to do with the outmatched Blindspot, the same demon that had restored Blindspot's vision offered him the power to defeat Muse. Blindspot used that power to defeat him. Muse was not about to let Blindspot be in charge of his story, so he walked into a fire, apparently killing himself. That's the origin and the entire story of Muse thus far in the comics. I do think we'll see him again. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out these videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm Audi. Peace.